What's going on everyone? Welcome to my quick Chroma OS ROM review for your Nexus 7 2013 model. This ROM is actually available for the SIM enabled version and also the flow version, which is Wi-Fi only. And this is the Wi-Fi only version. And I will quickly show you for confirmation that I'm running 5.1.1. This is not a special thing on Android Nexus devices, but anyway, here is Android 5.1.1. I'm using the Franco kernel right now, which is in build number uh, number 21. Um, this is the build number of Android 5.1.1, the latest you can get. And let's quickly go to the personalization features on Chroma OS, which you can find here in the Chroma settings. You can see that you have an about Chroma section where you can get the OTA notification. This is basically a link to push bullet. Uh, maybe you can... Um, use the app um, and you can subscribe to push bullet updates for chroma os which is a nice thing i don't use push bullet so i don't actually use it <laughs> you can view the change log and open it with google drive if you want to you can see that you can also open it uh, with chrome the developers are here you can also donate um, uh, money uh, which is always a great thing if you like the projects of the developers. Also, honorable mentions and the layer spotlight. You can check that out. The status bar options are included in almost every ROM. But this ROM is actually tr trimmed down uh, when it comes to personalization because this ROM is meant to be fast and battery friendly. And I think this is the most important thing, that the ROM is fast and battery friendly, even on a tablet, which has a very big battery. So, you know, you have your uh, battery icon stuff, clock and date stuff. Double tap to sleep is nice when you have it in your status bar. You can see that I can double tap to sleep. And also you can actually show the notification count quick pull down is available like in every ROM. I like to keep it on the right side on my tablet. Network traffic is available so you can present or um, you can enable an icon for incoming and outgoing data, upload and download. Um, there's also an option for weather here. The quick settings can be configured and um, customized. So you can change order and tiles, and you can also add a fourth row to your um, to your targets. Navigation bar is also customizable. You can change the height, which I have done to make it a little bit smaller for more screen real estate. Buttons and layouts you can change. Let's say we want to have a search button here. We can do that. And the weird thing is that it's so big. I don't know what's going on. Maybe they will fix it in the next build, but this is kind of funny. So let's restore the defaults and check out the menu button, which is um, perfect. But I don't know what's going on with the search button. A little bit weird stuff going on there. You can change the button tint if you want to have like um, red colored icons here you can, you can have that and you can also go for a custom color option here the navigation ring targets are customizable actually so you can like um, go for camera let's say we want to have camera here we can Select an application and basically we can have every app of the tablet as an as an uh, navigation ring target. So I just want to keep it stock for now. And the clear all reasons button is also very nice to have. You can see that um, I can directly clear all apps with a single tap. 
this is a very good feature. And you can also change, um, of course, the position of your button for your clear all button. So let's continue. Mm, power menu, I like to have the screenshot option in my power menu. As you can see, that's possible with this ROM, like um, almost every other custom ROM out there. So screenshot option is here. And the volume marker, uh, you can swap on rotation. So when you uh, rotate your tablet, then this, uh, this side will make, um, so this is basically volume up, this is volume down. And when you rotate it again, this is volume up and this is volume down. I like to keep it um, disabled because uh, on my other phones, it's um, also disabled. Um, that's basically it. Very nice ROM, highly recommended, very fluid experience. Of course, you can download the Franco kernel updater app to um, install the latest Franco kernel, which also gives you a little bit more boost and performance in gaming and a little bit more battery life. So check out the amazing Chroma OS ROM. Highly recommend it to use it on your tablet. Makes it very fast and fluid. So I will see you in the next ROM review. Check out the links in the description and have a great day. Bye.